just me and my guitar What's up guys, it's Mark back here in Mark's Aquatics and today I thought we would make a little skimmer out of these things here. A couple of old squash bottles, a bit of old lift tube from uh, an under gravel filter, a couple of air stones, a bit of pipe, a little anti-return valve and uh, a couple of little, one little T-piece there and an old bit of plumbing pipe there which is, um, which is 20 mil. That pipe there is 20 mil, and that pipe there is 22 mil. A 22 mil pipe fits nice and snug in the top of one of these bottles, as you can see there, like that. So what we're going to do now, I've already pre-marked out the hole there where I want the hole to go, and now we're going to drill that hole out, and we're going to put that little bit of pipe in there like that. Okay. So I'm going to get my little drill fired up. Okay. Right. I just chopped out that little hole there with the drill. I want to chop it out a little bit smaller than the uh, than the pipe itself. Like I say I've not cut it out all the way yet. I'm just going to gauge it slowly until I get the right size. Got a little bit more to go yet. See how that see how that goes now. I'm gonna get my finger in there, might be able to help it out a bit. Here he goes. So he's popped in there now like that. As you can see. Now if you want to you can silicone around there. The way I've worked it out, it's nicer if you can actually, because you can twist that now, you can work out flows and different things, so uh, we leave that as it is through there. Right, now what we need to do is we need to cut the top off of this one here, because we're going to need a, a collection cup for this skimmer, so I'll just make a small hole in here. That's just a normal drill bit. If you uh, if you put the drill bit in, you'll just see if you move it sideways, it'll cut it'll cut through this plastic because it's quite soft. But then you just grab the old scissors and start snipping around the that little crease on the top line there on the bottle. all the way around till we get to the other side and then we snip that off and throw it on the floor <laughs> right now we've got our little cup there which I will take a tiny little bit more off because you know what I'm like I like things to be uh, the V level or it drives me mad right that's better right now what we've got to do you can put that cup in there and that will actually sit seat in there now quite tight but what we want we want that to go through and near enough to the top of there so what I'm going to do is get the old trusty sandpaper out
make like a little cone shape out of the sandpaper and then just give that a few twists on there which will uh, take a bit of that plastic off all right guys just cut this pipe just cut a small piece off of there with my circular saw just as you've seen me cut things before and now we're going to put that down into that way there I'm going to push that through into there now what we've got to do it's got to be nice and tight this has so as you can see it's inside like that now it's level with the top what we've got to do now is we've got to push it down a little bit more So I just need uh, something from the old toolbox here, bear with me. That little sc screwdriver there, now it's too small that is. Well, I find a screwdriver that works, so I'll put that in there like that and I'll just wriggle that through a bit more. There you go. Now you can see we're just below the top and we've got a piece sticking out the bottom. So we grab the other half like that and then that will sit snugly on the top of there like that. It's starting to look like a skimmer now, isn't it? Or something completely different that I won't even speak about. <laughs> it involves water as well. But there you go. So we can turn that because that's our what we've got to do now is we've got to drill a series of holes around the base okay and then we've got to drill one for the airline to go in and when you push air in through the bottom there obviously as the air as the air's oxygen's rising through the water it's drawing the water in through the holes the water will then go up will come out through that pipe there okay and then the bubbles will carry on up and the scum will start forming on the top there and we'll get pushed up the tube and then it'll spill out into this here right then now we need to drill a series of holes around the bottom so first things first the trusty old drill bits this is going to be for the um going to be for the tank with the Amano shrimps in but obviously we're not going to have it running all the time just now and again we can turn it on and um, and take anything out of the water anything that's skimming in the water needs taken out it'll take it out okay now as that should be airline size okay like you see before when you cut when you cut the uh, I'll get it together in a minute guys if you cut the pipe at an angle like that first it'll go through the hole a lot easier but what we've got to do now is take the top back off of there got to feed this pipe now up through there to the top If you get a kink in a pipe just give it a quick quick stretch and then before it returns to its size and shape if you get it to the bottom there let it get its shape again this is a bit fiddly this bit guys but it's all part of the fun of creating things right and get that through there pinch that and then pull it and then we get that through there like that now what we want to do is pull that whole length nearly all the way to the back to the bottom 
connect our air stone on get that nice and tight to make a more efficient skimmer a wooden air stone is a lot better because you get a lot you get finer bubbles from uh, from a wooden block but never try and make one yourself because so much of the wooden has got um, preservatives in there they pressure treat it and, and you'll just wipe your tank out so you're better off just going to buy one or unless you come across a nice piece of wood that you know there's nothing on it and then uh, you can use that we pop that stone in the bottle there then we can drag that all the way down shift some of this lock out the way and then you get that right in the center there and then you can leave it and there he is in the center there right so now we've got that in place these don't cost much at all little anti uh, anti siphoning devices which are fantastic you blow the air can go through that way but then imagine if your water level now your tank you that airlines coming out of your tank and it's going down to your air pump if that air pump stops that means it's going to go straight up and it will siphon back out and all your tank will come out on the floor and uh, your wives and boyfriends and things won't be too happy with you when they come home and you've got thousands of quids worth of damage on the carpet for something that costs about 60p so remember that one guys you can put them anywhere just snip the pipe like that blow through it make sure it's going that way stick him on there like that stick the other end on like that if you find these quite difficult to put on sometimes it's quite easy you just dip that into warm water or boil a kettle just put some in a mug dip the end in a couple of seconds wiggle it around and it will really soften it up then you can push it right on and then as it cools it'll really grip the tube nice and tight so that's that that's done what I tend to do with these as well is I'll put a few bits of gravel in the bottom there just to give it a bit of extra weight as you can see which I can get right now right there we go now we've got a load of pebbles in the bottom now we've got some added weight now it's not going to start, got not go anywhere the air stone's right in the middle and now all we've got to do is drill a series of holes around the base there So I'll just shut you off a minute and I'll carry on those, you'll be bored watching me do all these. Right guys, now we've got a series of holes going all the way around there. Don't worry about all this, I'll get all that off in a while. Just pour a bit of warm water on there, a bit of hot water, it'll soon get rid of it. You can always grab your old Stanley knife and just nip off, nip off some bits. that the drill leaves behind and then we've got the holes all the way around there now you imagine now then the oxygen's flow flowing straight up there which will then draw all the water in all through those holes propel it all up that way and then when it gets to the top there basically works like a sponge filter and then the, the water will come back out and um, you can either have it this way so it's coming out the top of the water and then the oxygen will then sorry is that a frame there then the oxygen will carry on up through there and then we put that back on the top clumsy today aren't I stick that on there like that okay and now all we need is a little lid and I was found the bottom of the, bo the bottle is quite good so uh, I'll cut that off and get back to you all right guys what I've done I forgot to press play on the camera <laughs> sorry about that what I've done is I've cut a piece of airline see and I fitted it around the top around there like that just to cushion that and give that a bit of a a bit of a lip to it which looks quite good just get your piece of pipe like that and you get your stanley knife just hold it on 
and then like draw it through your hand like that and just cut halfway through the pipe which gives you a slice through it and then it's just a matter of then just clicking it on like that now with the top it's already got that little concave bit in there which is going to make the bubbles want to go over and come out put some little slight because it's the same same diameter obviously the bottle the same diameter all the way up so if you cut some slits like that three of I put four one in each one in each corner then you can get the lid and slowly push it in on itself and that's it we have a skimmer all we need now is to apply some air to it we've got our anti-return valve there so we can't flood the house and we can angle this that's that water is going to come back up it's going to get drawn through the base it's going to come up there and it's going to flow out there but the bubbles are going to carry on up there and they're going to collect in this chamber and they're going to get pushed up that pipe and then over into that collection cup okay and then the excess water is going to come back out through there we'll have a few bubbles in it normally inside it it's got a trap it's got a bubble trap inside all that pipe will go right to the base um, and it'll work that way on other skimmers like the manufacturers do but I find this works fine just for a little make t makeshift one. Um, at least I, I had one in one of my old nano tanks with a little um, in a little sump I had it in there and it was absolutely fantastic. It worked just as good as um, as one of the bought ones I had. And uh, yeah, fabulous little bit of kit and don't cost you anything. I mean, you buy a skimmer these days, you're talking the best part of £100 or up to, God, it's limitless, up thousands of pounds for skimmers. But um, yeah, so that's in there. I say that lid it can go in it's probably got I might have pushed it in a little bit too far but you just get my old pen there but I'll pop that out a minute normally put a blob of super glue on the end just to hold those together there and that'll stick them together nice and tight That's a bit better. There you go. And now that's fitting in there nice and tight now. Right then, I'm going to set this up in the tank. Okay guys, we're back in the shrimp room. I'll just get you leveled up there. There you go, it's all up and running. As you can see now, the, uh, the skimmer's working nice. Skimmers do have a breaking in period. Um, so they can sort of foam up quite quickly and blow out over the top which is this one I think it's just about to do so I might have to nip over there in a minute I've just put this little yellow twist valve in there so I can control that flow of that water up and down I'll just back it off a little bit now so that'll sink back down but it'll slowly build up I say the more air that you put in the quicker it's drawing that water in through the bottom um, and it'll end up going up into that cup. This is a very clean system at the moment, there's nothing in it, it's all waiting now for the baby Amano shrimps to hatch and um, there's nothing in there at all, so there's, it's, it's just pure it's clean seawater, there's nothing in it at all, so there's no fish waste in there, there's no, um, there's no proteins whatsoever in, in the water for it to actually to take out. And if you're not familiar with skimmers what happens is it's protein sticks to the bubbles and so as more and more protein gets sucked in through the bottom gets stuck to the bubbles it rises up the tube sticks to the bubbles and then it's deposited up in that tube and the more and more that gets deposited up the tube the higher it pushes the foam until it starts to foam and then it will actually it'll come out the top then and over and fill this cup up here that's how they work but if you've ever been along a beach and you've seen all the foam blowing up onto the rocks basically that's nature's skimmer that's the sea skimming itself um, as those waves crash against the rocks it creates the oxygen in the water creates the bubbles any of the rubbish in there the diesel petrol any of the old rubbish that gets thrown into our lovely oceans gets clung, clings to those bubbles and then it gets created into this you know makes this foam which then you see blowing up over the rocks um, 
So that's what it's actually doing. So if you've been to the beach and you've ever seen that, that's what it's doing. The it's, that's, that's nature's skimmer, that is. That's, there's the wind and the waves making it. And it's basically replicating that in a small chamber, which is what we've done there. Skimmers cost a fortune these days. I mean, I know you guys, a lot of you, I've been there. A lot of you guys out there think, oh my God, I've got to have a top of the range bubble magus or a king, you know, bubble king and all this sort of stuff. Deltec, Aquamedic, all these kinds of filters. I've been there before, but believe it or not, a small filter like that will run a 130 litre tank perfectly. Years and years back when I was keeping, when I was keeping Marines, all we had, I came up with that idea there. And back then all we used to use was live rock. We had under gravel filters for sea, for, for marine. I don't know if any of you older guys out there remember the little grids. I think they still do them now with the pipes that... It's basically that piece of pipe that I used in between there that used to run up a side, go through into the gravel, used to cover the mesh with gravel and then it sucks all the water down through the, through the gravel, through the, uh, the plate underneath, back up through the pipe with air and then back out into the tank again. Um, that's all we used to use. We used to use that we used to, and, and live rock. And then, and that was like the, this Berlin method where you just, obviously with the skimmer came in um, and all these other methods cropped up after that. But um, these, these are fantastic little skimmers, they work really well. I mean, if I get down there nice and close there, now I can see a small, all the small little particles now being sucked in through that series of holes at the bottom and getting lifted up and they'll be deposited in the neck as well. And then every, well, as soon as you see it, it's nearly halfway full. You just got to go in there, you got to pop the top off, take it into the uh, utility room, or when your nice with your wife, your husband ain't watching, stick it in the sink, clean it out in there, and um, and then put it back on. And that's all you got to do simple as that, just rinse it out and click it back on. You can leave the air running while you do that, so you know it's preset to how it was before. And all it'll do then is just as you take the top off, the bubbles will just come out and go back in the tank, create a bit of oxygen in the water, which will do nothing any harm at all. Obviously it's not going to look very nice if it's in your main tank for obvious reasons there, it's not, you know, it doesn't look very decorative at all. But if you're in a sump like this one, this isn't a sump, but if you imagine this was a sump and it was in there in between one of the chambers, it'd be working fine. And like I say, the bigger the bottle, the more air, bigger the top, the more skimmate you're going to collect in there for a bigger tank. So it's quite simple to make your own skimmer um, and save yourself some money and some power as well, you know. That's the way I look at things. And this is going to be fantastic. What I'm going to do is around the base, around here, down in my local fish shop, you can buy a nice big block of sponge, and it's already got a hole in it for where you would stick a pump. You know, you just slide it over the top of your pump to stop anything getting sucked in there. But you can buy quite fine, uh, fine foam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sit that into one of the holes, cut a slice down the foam itself, so that pipe then will slot into that, and close up tight behind it then that will be sat in there so that will be sucking that water then through there which will then become a biological filter like a sponge filter blowing that up through there so it will be a skimmer and um, and a filter at the same time but anyway guys I hope you like this video and you're gonna give it a go make one it's good fun it's a good little build if you're new to the channel pop back and have a look at some of my other videos there's always handy hints and tips on there for you guys whether it's a quite you know anything to do with ponds anything to do with um marine stuff the shrimps obviously tropical fish any any which way you know form i can help you out guys just drop me a message and i'll do the best i can to help you out if you're getting problems i've been in this game for over 30 years and i've got a little bit of a little bit of a knowledge stuck upstairs with all these little things and I do like creating things, it's good fun as well, it's easy if you've got the money just to go out and buy something, but if you haven't got the money, and I never had a great deal of money growing up, and I always fancied making these things, so that's what I did, I went down to my local shops, picked up bottles, different things, and created things, and I think I enjoyed it more than just unboxing a £500 skimmer and sticking it in a tank and, and, and pressing play, you know, so give it a go. Anyway guys, you're all stars, love you loads, check out my other videos, thanks for all you guys that are subscribing, we're nearly to 100, getting excited. Take care, you're all stars, love you loads, see you on the next video. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.